Hey guys, it's John again. Um, I got a message the uh, yesterday from a user named Sack Knight or no S A Knight twenty three um, asking me where I get my chainmail wire uh, and how much it is and stuff and what kind of steel it is and uh, so I just I you know I looked back on my first video and I realized that I didn't really go into too much detail about where to get materials for chainmail so. Uh, I uh, wanted to make a video about different materials for chainmail and where to find them and stuff. Because some people just don't seem to know where to get chainmail wire, and I know that I had a tough time finding like special metals and stuff. I mean, galvanized steel is pretty common. It's easy to find that. Otherwise, like silver and copper and like nickel and all that other stuff, people don't know where to find that stuff and I have mentioned in the past a couple of websites uh, for chainmail information one of which happens to sell wire and uh, pre-made pieces and designs and stuff like that the three shops locally that I know of that sell chainmail wire or not really chainmail wire but they just sell wire is uh, you can get galvanized steel from tractor supply it's like it's only it's like 30 percent the price of what you would buy at home depot because home depot only sells like 100 foot spools or not even a spool it's like a little roll uh, a little like uh, bunch of wire and it's only 100 feet of galvanized steel and they sell it for like six something rounded up to about seven bucks but if you go to tractor supply they sell quarter mile spools which is a quarter mile is over 1400 feet and they sell it for 27 bucks or so so if you were to buy that much from Home Depot it'd be like 90 bucks so it's a lot cheaper to buy it from Tractor Supply and their wire looks cleaner and better quality for some reason I found another store in a, a, a shopping mall a bead store. Bead stores can sell wire too. You can find some smaller gauge wire there, but it's good for jewelry. But like I found a bead store over in Rockbrook Village, uh, and then up right next door I found a, sh a store. It's not really a store as much as it's a gallery, and they teach uh, silver smithing. But the the person who runs the place, she said that she would sell wire to me if I needed any if I was willing to pay for it. and she said that they get she could offer pretty good prices because they order online so uh, but yeah so if you can find a place that teaches like silver smithing and stuff you can find good silver wire there or if you go to a bead store they would be a that would be a good bet this is the first of two websites I was going to show you I mentioned it a few times before it's uh, the mail artisans international league or mail dot org or whatever uh, but it has like news updates and galleries for pieces of jewelry that people have made or chain mail or whatever and they've got the section for newer weaves that people have introduced and same thing over here like this is like new stuff that people have made like this is a a, a tutorial on how to wrap a, a stone with a strip of four in one with six in one on the outside to draw it tighter around the round object as you can see it's got like uh, explanations and then pictures too to show you how to do it. You can also look in uh, there are weaves uh, like here I'll just go to the home the home page you can see like there's Japanese style weaves, spiral, European, Persian we'll just look at the European for a sec you see like the picture of the weave and the name this is box chain uh, it describes the weave and then it also gives like an ideal aspect ratio for the rings and whatnot like this is what's actually in the piece and this is like whether you want your chain to be square or rectangular shaped and these are different tutorials like here's a tutorial on how to do the stitch method they use a CGI program to make uh, digital representations of chains to show the stitch method and then the second one is a picture method with the flip method where you add rings on then you fold them back fold the next ones open and stick ones through like what I show 
Uh, yeah, and then you also have like Byzantine down there too. Then they also have galleries where you can look at stuff that other people have made, like here's uh, jewelry. We'll just look at bracelets. Like, see, you can see pictures and what they have to say about their pieces, and you can even look up the user by their name and see a whole gallery of everything they've done. Like, here's a picture of chain mail that someone's made. But yeah, this is the mail site. This is the uh, one where you can order a wire. This is the Ring Lord. You can order rings, uh, wire, tools, scales, jewelry supplies, uncut coils, all that sort of stuff. We'll look at rings. Like you can buy uh, rings by like ounce or pound or however much, depending on the what material you, you, it's used, like bronze, galvanized steel, mild steel, niodium, riveted rings, rubber rings for making it so you don't have to have a clasp, silver, stainless steel. Look at the stainless steel. See, they've got like machine cut rings, and then they've got saw cut rings. The saw cut rings are the ones that are flush, like how I make. They're good for jewelry. The machine cut rings, I think they're cheaper, a little bit cheaper, but they aren't as good a quality. You can see in this little example picture that the, what the ring looks like, where it comes together. There's a divot there. But if you go back and go to the saw cut, I don't know why this page isn't loading. Click, click. I don't know, it's taking forever. Oh well, we'll move on. We'll move on. This is a uh, oh well, there it is. <laughs> this is a page on the Ring Lord site that shows different materials. Like you've got all this different kind of steel and stuff. Like you got stainless steel, titanium, bright aluminum, aluminum, etched aluminum, galvanized steel, mild steel, blackened steel. Different kinds of stuff. You got copper and bronze, brass, nickel, silver, all that stuff. Down here it shows like explains alloys and this is like the ideal tempers for wire if you're going to make chain mail out of it because you don't want to have too soft a temper otherwise the ring will bend open down here you can see different materials like they describe the material for like aluminum and stuff and they've also got down below they've got anodized aluminum and bright aluminum and brass and bronze and copper galvanized steel all stuff Inconel, uh... that's a weird metal uh... stainless steel titanium but yeah, this page should help you with picking the kind of wire you're going to use. But yeah, you can look at like wire. They've got different kinds of wire so that you can uh, spin the rings yourself. I like silver. <laughs> um, or you can get stainless steel or titanium. Titanium is tricky though because it, it's so hard and it works hard and so fast that the rings can actually snap while you're working on them. Here's some scale. Uh, for if you're gonna make like uh, Roman style armor, like uh, Lorica plumata, uh, which means feather armor, uh, it's armor that looks like little scales, like this. It's basically four in one pattern, but you work in these scales in between, as like the in between rings. Um, yeah, there's like different kinds of material that you can get, different sizes of rings too. And stuff. Like you can see the um the prices on the right by pound and stuff like that, and then the the pictures on the left and it also has like the aspect ratio and how many rings per pound or ounce or however much and uh Okay, that's enough of that. I could go on and on talking about those websites, but uh I'll just leave it up to you to investigate. Links in the sidebar. My wife's fancy schmancy hot cocoa cup. What do you have to say for yourself, lazy? <laughs> I have good hot cocoa. <laughs> it mixes itself. <laughs> and the cup doesn't get messy. And you don't have to dirty a spoon. Oh, the vortex of chocolate. It's the chocolate that turns it. Ah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs>